Zach Toll says, Phil, I saw you play in 2006 alongside Dragon Force at Warfield in San Francisco. Uh, That's yeah. bad ass. Thank you, Zach. Um, you know, that was a question I kind of wanted to ask you because um, I noticed that I don't know how the music industry is, especially in metal. But, you know, you have you hold, uh, I guess, you know, opinions that most people probably hold reasonable people. Um, but does does those opinions ever get in the way of like like shows or maybe bands that, you know, or people, you know, within these spectrums where they're like, oh, I don't want to, you know, go on. A, I don't want to be on a tour with Phil because he thinks this or this about guns or some shit. You ever experience that? It's likely not about guns. Um I haven't noticed that people have much of a perspective on that or much of a strong opinion on that. Um, I'm sure that there are people that have said they don't want to do things because they don't like my politics. Uh, it's not anything that I'm uh, aware of. So nobody's been like, oh, you know, they said they don't want to because you're this. My politics are not that are like i'm a, i'm a, a generally a kind of libertarian dude so it's not like yeah. i've got super weird politics it's like basically i just don't want the government to do things because when the government does things they do things wrong and they yeah. screw things up you <laughs> yeah. know that's essentially what it is look they're yeah. bad at shit they're constantly bad at shit we constantly hear they're bad at shit so maybe we shouldn't have them like trying to live our lives for us that's my basic political opinion um so I haven't noticed that, but I'm sure that there are people in the in the music industry, in the business side that don't like me. And the reason I know this is because I've heard stuff from people on the business side. That's, you know, it's not the bands. It's, you know, people in 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 positions at uh, companies that, you know, that you typically would think have opinions um so like oh you know we don't want to promote that band because of this or we don't like this uh this opinion but it, it just boils down to leftists like committed leftists not just your regular like democrat kind of people but like actual leftists um trying to do what they can to to either not work with us or to to keep us from i don't have any actual evidence that people have done things to try to harm us but there are there are things that have happened where it's like man that really looks like someone stuck there yeah and it was like uh, you know so um i don't have specific stuff but like the metal blogs like they spent the better part of of a decade and a half just tearing me apart every chance they got you know whether it, it started probably in like 2010 or so. Um, and I noticed that one of them had just recently ran a, a thing about a song that we did and was very, very complimentary. And I was like, what the hell's going on? Come to find out uh, there's new ownership apparently, but it was, it's gotten to, it had gotten to the point where, you know, I, I knew that if my name was going to be in one of the metal blogs, that they were not going to be complimentary. If we put a record out, they weren't going to be complimentary about it. If I say something on the internet, they're not going to be complimentary, you know? So, and they, and it was because of politics because they had stated their, you know, their own politics were very far left and, and they didn't like the idea of someone like me um, being successful. <laughs> it's, you know, what's weird to me. The weirdest thing about all of this is <clears throat> it's whatever to disagree with someone. Like we mm -hmm. do this shit every day, you know. I might, I may not like spaghetti, but you may. That's mm -hmm. it's 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 a normal occurrence in human life. The weird thing is, is when people try to go after your like livelihood. Yeah. So strange to me. It's like, why do you why do you care that much? There's people that were in my chat for like a year, like making hit pieces on me, like messaging my family, messaging sponsors, which they got my sponsors pulled at one point, like all of them. Um, just crazy shit. All like, because you like boobs. Yeah, all be no, it was shit. I don't even remember what it was about. I think it was because they didn't like my voice. They they thought that my red like my redneck ass accent, which I'm not a proud of. Um, <laughs> they thought it was <laughs> fake. Like I created it as a character. Mm. Like, Dude, I'm from Hoax Bluff, Alabama. <laughs> Dude, they, you know one of the things I gotta say. This is a little off topic. When I first heard you talking, I thought that I was like, that's gotta be the guy that does action figure theater. 
do you know action figure theater? Have I you ever don't. Heard of that? Uh, uh. All right. So it's, it's a little on the old side, probably 10 years ago and it was popular. And I might even be getting the name wrong, but they just took GI Joe guys like the GI Joe dolls and they put them in crazy situations. And it was, you know, they, they were just, you know, they didn't really do a whole lot with them, but they were just making jokes with the GI Joe guys and they were hilarious. And you sound like one of the characters. And I was like, is that the same dude? And I was looking in and, kind of find out you're not because yeah obviously you don't it, even know what it is but people tell me i'm they i sound like danny mcbride all the time and i don't hear that i don't hear it at all <laughs> like, I don't know who, i'm not sure danny mcbride is he, oh god he's in every damn thing he have you ever seen that show um it's called the righteous gemstones <laughs> no god it's a great show man um he was in uh, pineapple express uh he's in a ton of damn movies and he's like the redneck guy with a mullet in every movie just redneck guy with a mullet, and they're always like, "You sound like Danny McBride." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, yeah, he's just he, yeah, yeah, he's just in every damn thing." I mean, I could I could see why people might think you sound a little bit like him. Yeah, I don't, I I can't hear it, but you know, that's just how it is sometimes. Just that's can't right. hear shit. 